Hey guys, our topic today is the difference between GPS and GPRS. So GPS and GPRS are two completely different technologies, but sometimes people can get confused between these two. If you are someone who gets confused between these two terminologies, that's okay because sometimes people, even within the telecom industry, can be confused about this. GPS is what you use for satellite navigation when you're driving or walking, etc. And GPRS is a mobile cellular technology used by the GSM networks. So if you have a smartphone, you will have GPS capability built into that, no matter if it's iPhone or smartphone from any Android manufacturers. So GPS stands for Global Positioning System, and it's a satellite navigation system that allows you to know your position within the globe. GPRS, on the other hand, stands for General Packet Radio Service, and it is a technology or enhancement which was added to mobile GSM networks. So what GPRS does is that it gives your phone the ability to access mobile internet. However, since GPRS belongs to the GSM networks, second generation GSM networks, the mobile data rates that it offers are actually quite low and you get an average of between 30 to 50 kilobits per second, which is actually very, very low. So if you're connected to the GPRS technology, you might as well stop browsing because you won't be able to get much speeds at all. Okay, now let's have a look at this table on the screen which compares GPS GPRS and GSM. As we already discussed, GPRS is an enhancement within the GSM networks. So GPS stands for Global Positioning System, GPRS stands for General Packet Radio Service, and GSM stands for Global System for Mobile Communications. GPS is a satellite navigation system, GPRS and GSM are mobile network technologies. GPRS enables low-speed mobile internet on 2G GSM phones, and GSM as a whole allows voice, SMS, and mobile internet on 2G GSM phones. GPS, however, enables navigation on smartphones and other receivers. A GPS is a constellation of satellites that can provide two-dimensional and three-dimensional locations worldwide. A constellation of 18 satellites is needed to give a 2D location, that is longitude and latitude, and a constellation of 24 satellites can provide 3D locations, including longitude, latitude, and altitude. GPS receivers need simultaneous signals from at least three satellites to calculate the two-dimensional location, and at least four or more satellites to calculate the three-dimensional location. So it basically means that GPS and GPRS have nothing in common. They are completely different technologies. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I've written a very detailed post on this topic. Have a look at the link in the description below.